Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Um, this is the iCOS of POR version 2.0 which is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link directly to this product in the description below the video. Uh, so we're in a 2018 Porsche Macan here and we've got the POR2 kit just to really demonstrate what the tool can do and go through the system um, menu system here. Now it's just basically a video of how to use it. It's very simple to use even if you've never used a diagnostic tool at, at all before in your life. This is so simple and that's why this is such a good product. One end of this cable is plugged into the tool as you can see. The other end is plugged in right down there. Underneath here is the OBD2 diagnostic port. <clears throat> and as soon as you pull it, plug it in, you'll be greeted with these screens. So we've got uh, diagnostics, service, voltage, OBD2, review, DTC, setup, help and about. So what I'll do first of all is I'll run through them. Uh, first of all, we're going to click into the diagnostics. It's not a touch screen as you can see, so you need to use the buttons on the side here. So we're going to click on to uh, diagnostics and it does say Porsche stroke Cayenne. Uh, the future software updates will mean this will just say Porsche because what you need to do is click through and then you get the option to actually select your vehicle. So we're in a Porsche Macan, so we click enter, click on to manual, and then you're greeted with a bunch of options and it's got one of 38. That means there are potentially one of thir uh, 38 modules that this kit can connect to. Now, I'm not gonna go through them all. I'm just gonna go through the important ones, the main ones that people buy this kit for. We've got the DME, which is the digital electronics. It does say TCM here. Now, this is a PDK, not a TCM, so it'll be interesting to see if it connects. Uh, first of all, we'll try the engine. So this is the engine module. It's allowing us to get in, read DTCs. There are no fault codes found in this vehicle, which is good news. If there was a fault, it would just be a simple case of coming down into clear DTCs and clicking OK there, and it would clear the trouble codes and the warning light, providing you had taken the necessary action. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to TCM. No fault code found. So it's 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 saying Tiptronic. To be honest, the Tiptronic is the uh, the old automatic gearbox in the Porsche, and uh, the, the new one is the PDK, of course. So PSM stands for Porsche Stability Management, and it's the ABS and the traction. Now, when I do this, watch because you're probably going to get some messages flash up on the screen here. There we go. So that comes up when you're interrogating the system. So we'll go to read DTCs. No fault code found. That's good because that's what we expect. It's a 2018 vehicle after all. It's only got about a thousand miles on the clock. All right, so the airbag system, starting to get the idea here and showing you really how simple it is to use. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna scroll through the rest of the menu system and we'll show you which uh, systems and modules you will be able to get into. So we've got airbag, instrument, air conditioning, power steering, parking brake, steering wheel, all-wheel drive, diff lock, passenger seat memory, the doors, park assistant, tire pressures, sound systems, lane change. There's a lot on there to get your teeth into. But those are the systems you can diagnose. We'll come out of this now and we'll go into the next menu which is the service menu and this is going to allow you to do things like oil reset, electronic park and brake, battery registration, uh, throttle, steering angle sensor and DPF regeneration. Now I'm not going to go into any of these because uh, the way the vehicle is at the minute it doesn't need any of these things carrying out um, but these are the things you'd be able to do. You'd be able to clear all the codes, reset the systems um, and it's a really really handy tool to have if you like to work on your own vehicles. Alright so voltage next. This is the battery voltage so it's going to give you live data from the battery and also a minimum and a maximum from this particular test. Then we go to OBD2 and OE OBD. That's got a check engine sign. This basically is if you have any other vehicles in your family um, and you want to be able to maybe read diagnostic trouble codes in those vehicles. Um, it only works on the engine system if you've got any other vehicles. So you might have an Audi, a BMW, Mercedes, 
um, Jaguar, VW, whatever, you know, you, if you've got an engine fault on those, you can use this tool, just plug it in in the same way, uh, go through the same menu, and you will be able to diagnose any engine faults on that um, section there. If you're recording any data, sometimes it'll allow you to record data, the live data. You can just review that here, but there's nothing on this one. Uh, DTC lookup, look so you can put a diagnostic trouble code in here and it will give you the description of it, providing it is stored in the database. Setup, well, that'll just allow you to set up the tool. Um, for example, we can click onto buzzer, you just turn that off, and that allows you to scroll through without having any of the, uh, the beeping going on. And the last two, we've got about just information about this tool, the software version, the ID for the tool, and then the help situation, or the help icon there. And that's it. That's the iCarsoft POR Toolkit. It's an absolutely fabulous tool. I would highly recommend this to any Porsche owner. Um, it's going to get you out of sticky situations if you do ever encounter them. It will allow you to diagnose and reset fault codes and warning lights at basically the push of the button and ultimately the power is going to be in your hands because even if you don't feel confident in actually you know changing over some of the electrical parts or changing over an airbag system at least you know exactly where the fault is so you can be armed with this information when taking your vehicle to the uh, the independent specialist all right, so it's available at Diagnostic World, as I say, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to this kit directly in the description and the comments box below. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to email us. Uh, just please go through the website because we don't tend to uh, reply to the comments on the, uh, the YouTube videos. So th thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time.